hone in on the penalties and try to put our best game yet together, you know, of the season. And uh, by doing that, we got to be physical, play fast, be hungry. Mike being out, has that affected you guys so preparation wise? And did he talk to y'all via Zoom today at all? Or As far as preparation goes, obviously we got to take it, you know, personal. Um, we're still thinking about Mike as we go throughout these journeys and through meetings. And his presence is missed, of course. Uh, you know, he's normally the first face that we see when we walk in with the team meeting. But uh, we're praying for him. Obviously, he's keeping high hopes, and I'm sure we'll see him soon um, before the game and then hopefully have him out there for the game. Uh, it's very important. Uh, I feel like our connection is what's going to lead us um, offensively and kind of get us going again. And uh, I feel like it's, it's important on my end to be on his schedule and, you know, always be open, be available for the for the guys and, um, you know, make big plays. What's the intensity level like in a game between the Eagles and Cowboys? It don't change, but it's definitely, it's obviously, you know, a lot riding on it. You know, um, you got to treat it as, for what it is, it's a big game, but it's, at the end of the day, it's still just a game. Um, taking it one play at a time, one moment at a time, continuing to drive, being better of my, be a better version of myself, and obviously put great reps together. <clears throat> you, what ways does Dak kind of show that he, show his trust to you? Is it verbal? Is it actions? In what ways does he show it up? Plenty of ways. Um, whether it's you know throwing me the ball or talking to me on the sideline about what just you know transpired on the field. So. Uh, you know, that could lead up to points. So just having this continuing conversations, um, obviously looking to be better week in and week out and then going into practice, whatever we feel like we could be better on, we go and fix it and then on Sunday, let it show. Because you guys have a good relationship, do you need to have one of those talks? Is it easier to have one of those heart-to-heart <clears throat> -heart talks about this? Absolutely. Um, I feel like it's much easier. Um, I can be as open, it's open dialogue, and we understand that it's nothing personal. Obviously, we both want what's best for each other. and. Um, Continues success, so uh, whatever helps the team, whatever you know, obviously better result. Would you say that because both of you guys are direct and to the point people that that's why you can have those open discussions? I say it's because we're both winners. Um, we're willing to do whatever it is, uh, whether it's a change in our technique, whatever. Like once again, whatever it takes for you know him to be comfortable in the pocket when he sees me, and for me to be comfortable in my route when I see him. So just once again, being on the same page. Staying true to each other and staying, you know, obviously within the boundaries of the play. Did you learn to see the game through a quarterback's eye? Yes. Um, obviously, they have a lot going on mentally. They're thinking about a lot physically. Obviously, you got like four or five 300 pounders coming and get you. So it's much easier to be on his schedule than mine. Did you have to figure that out? Because you can say, hey, I'm open, but you're yeah. not realizing you've got five 300 pound guys right now. Exactly. Uh, so don't want to be open too early, don't want to be open too late. Is a is a is a nice time zone for you to be open and you stay within that time zone. The ball will find you. You talk about that 2.3 second threshold. What makes a good receiver after 2.3? Um, once again, creating creating uh, favorable matchups um, and always being available. I feel like if you're always open, it's easy for both of y'all. And um, I'm a firm believer in that. And I try to you know always be open. Absolutely, um, because we know the play is not over. Dak's going to do what he got to do to get out of the pocket, um, make a big play, whether it's breaking a tackle, a couple sacks, um, sneaking out of there, or if it, even if it's running, and we got to make a key block for him to get the third and 11 and get the first down. See, so whatever it takes, man. See, we talk about confidence all the time. What would a win over this team do for the overall confidence with the big picture goal? We got to keep it rolling, man. After this game, we still got, we got plenty more down the road, but this is definitely a big game we'd love to have. You have the third most routes or yards on go balls this year, which is the third most of any player on any route this year. What makes your go ball deep ball this season so so dangerous? Just want them to see it. I'm, you know, a threat with the ball in my hands, but definitely the deep ball. So uh, just getting those up and down and letting the defensive coordinator and defensive backs know that we can go behind you. Um, and I feel like along with that, every every route underneath that is open. What impresses you most about his approach to the position and kind of how this continues to develop? He's so calm with it. Um, week in, I say this a lot, week in and week out, but it's, I mean, we went week 14 and he's still going. You know, obviously he didn't have his best game last game, finally. But uh, 
you know, that's 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 where the team come in. Um, you know, just building that camaraderie and playing together, relying on one and, one another. And um, yeah, no, nah, DB he does a great job of you know approaching the game well and preparing. What's making made you guys so invincible at home? 14 straight wins, 36 and a half points a game in that streak. Uh, quite honestly, I didn't even know. I don't know. Uh, I just know that we definitely protecting the house. <clears throat> you know, we want to put our best foot forward, of course, but uh, obviously don't want to let the fans down and having that ability to, you know, being home and we got to win in front of our fans. You yeah, talked to us a couple of weeks ago. You talked to us a couple of weeks ago just about being upset with what you saw, the attack that Dak would have on social media and and one of them, now that he's doing well, it's like, well, but the big games, big, does that just... It's always Bobby something. I think someone said something about, I don't know who it was, about like now interceptions don't matter. <laughs> no comment to that, but it's just, I mean, that can't win for anything. But, you know, at the end of the day, we got to do what we can, um, protect our quarterback, of course, and, you know, make him look the best he's he can. And uh, as a team, we're definitely going to continue to do that and we're going to work hard for it. Is that one of the windiest practices you've seen? Yes, yes. <laughs> I know I'm light, but for the wind to push me around is crazy. <laughs> you now that it's December football, is there an extra level of intensity as you guys continue to prepare knowing what kind of stretch run you guys will be going right now? Absolutely. The focus level goes up mentally. The mental preparation goes up. Uh, obviously, the physical part of it, we kind of got it down, but keeping it keeping it together, um, not, losing, not losing focus, tempo goes up, but also the intensity of our practices. So just mentally staying focused. And, um, you know, hitting our keys, getting our points, getting our fits, and making sure we got all we need as far as prep going into Sunday. CD, with you guys wearing those uh, white helmets for this game, in your opinion, what's the best Cowboys uniform? This one. This is my favorite one. Okay, thanks.